pertinent, very important and causes a lot of concern among many of our patients. We are going to talk and discuss about a lifestyle problem, a lifestyle disease which is related to high uric acid. Often many patients come to my chamber, they enter and tell me, Doctor, I have uric acid. Of course, dear, you are, it's normal that you would be having uric acid because it is one of the most common excretory products of our body. Having uric acid in our blood, it is normal. But having excessive levels of uric acid in our blood might cause a lot of problems in your life. So what are the different kinds of problems we might be facing if we have elevated levels of uric acid in our body? The answer is very simple. High levels of uric acid might affect many of, many of the different important organs of our body. Namely, it might get deposited into the bones and joints, causing tremendous amount of pain, which often we refer to as gout. It can also lead to chronic kidney disease in the long run. And many of our studies has also revealed that elevated levels of uric acid in the body can cause fatty liver and even cause diabetes mellitus. So how do we exactly take care of elevated uric acids in the blood? So the remedies are pretty simple. Uric acid levels in the blood or elevated levels of uric acid in the blood is mostly related to our lifestyle and our dietary habits. If we keep a keen eye on our dietary pattern, if we avoid high protein diet or excessive protein intake in our diet, if we can strictly cut down on our alcohol intake, if we can cut down on fructose rich drinks in our diet or fructose containing food in our diet, then I think we are in a safer zone to control our uric acid levels. Often people are very confused that is hyperuricemia same as gout? No, it is not. We are concerned about the elevated levels of uric acid in the blood. When that same thing gets deposited in our bones and joints, then we encounter a problem which we call gout, which can also lead to something called gouty arthritis. But my dear patients, all of this is preventable. So that is why at the beginning of this short video, I said that uric acid levels or hyperuricemia is a lifestyle disease. If you work out well, if you do regular exercise, if you can keep your diet controlled, if you can cut down our alcohol intake, I think that uric acid levels can be very well maintained. If still you are having any problems, if still you have queries, if still you are struggling to control your uric acid levels in blood, you can always walk into your physician or even to your endocrinologist and get yourself checked. So, as we always say as doctors, prevention is better than cure. Don't let your uric acid levels get high in the blood and we are always there to help you.